What's up, good people and Eagle fans? How are you all doing on this Monday? Hope y'all are all doing good. I'm doing freaking fantastic. So, I don't want to be like I was last year. Last year, I got up to 278 pounds. That'd be great if I were playing, you know, defensive tackle for the Cowboys, but not so much as a 57 going on 58-year-old man. So what we're going to try and do, because we want to enjoy Sundays, we're going to try and do better. I have fasted today. I have not had my usual coffee with my keto coffee cream or anything like that. I have had literally nothing but black coffee. Black coffee, no sugar, no cream. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and do better during the week. Because what always happens is we go through and we have the game on Sunday. And David Wiley, although there are a couple of things, things of beans in there, makes tons of potato salad and beans. And we got some of the big sub left over. And we just chow down on all that. We're going to have our food debauchery on Sunday. We're going to cleanse our body on Monday and try and do better during the week. Get moving a little more, like with the Red Brick House, because tomorrow I'll be going back over there, uh, doing some work on that house, as well as uh, another property that we have to do some repair work and things. So we'll get some exercise in. We'll try and eat better. And then lose our mind on Sunday. Speaking of lost minds, <laughs> this is what I love. Lost minds. You know, I tell you what's funny is watching Philly 500 last night. Philly 500 last night after they won their game, and he's getting his victory cigar. Now, that was a lot different than, say, what happened with uh, Bad Dog, who literally lost his mind. There were no victory cigars for Giant fans last night. None. Zero. Zilch. Zingo. Nada. Nothing for those guys. It's evident that he was just happy they survived. Now, I know Eagle fans won't admit this. Now, now Philly 500 has to be thinking about all those checks that he wrote, the Cowboys and how bad they were. Micah Parsons is nothing compared to Hassan Reddick. We got the best front in football, right? Jordan Davis and the Kobe Dean. I think the Kobe Dean, didn't he get hurt yesterday? I'm not celebrating. I'm just saying. Did, it, I'm asking for a friend. Did he get hurt? Because, see, it's a short week. James Bradbury got a concussion. And you're playing Kirk Cousins. I know in prime time, so maybe that's not an issue. But it is a short week, and you're going to be shorthanded. Here's the thing that's kind of cool for the Cowboys. Is... They played a division rival, a division rival, and the Cowboys scored on a special team play, scored on a turnover, got seven sacks, 40 points, a shutout, all in one team. I think that this is the biggest road blowout and shutout in the last 20 plus years. My Cowboys did all that. My Cowboys did all that. Damn. 
They did all that. Record breaking. And if Eagle fans, if y'all are still in denial about Micah Parsons and how good he is, in fact, I'll say even Giant fans, if you're in denial about Lawrence Taylor and how close, how close Micah Parsons is, to him? Well, you might want to ask somebody. Because that defense is real. I mean, it's real, real. Now, I will say one thing, though. It may be that the Giants are a little bit of a fraud since they did get blown out in the playoffs against you guys. And of course, by us Cowboys. However, they still were a playoff team. Now, you guys can go ahead and say, well, you know, Dak Prescott didn't play that well. Okay. I can say, you guys were playing against New England. And you guys didn't exactly play that well. Yeah. Yeah. You might sort of start worrying a little bit. And Philly, I have to say, I miss hearing from you like I did every day before. I haven't seen any videos, any text messages telling me the Cowboys stink. Hmm. Kind of interesting, don't you think? Hey, Philly, you still coming for the meats? You know I got the best meats in town, bro. Got the best meats in town. I'll be waiting. I'll be right here, Philly. I'll be right here, buddy. Waiting for you. <laughs> oh, boy. Yesterday was a good day. Definitely a good day. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope to see you guys tonight. We'll be live streaming the game. Peace.